Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94 Episode 7 and we're in the iceberg now and oh my god the emulator is just absolutely trashing this song. Oh my god. Let's start the level quick. Here in the iceberg we're given a lot more trickier challenges. The game gets a little bit dickish. For example, we're working a lot with ice and our first challenge is waiting. Waiting for this fire guy to melt the ice so we can move across. We'll take this lift up and just stay ever so slightly behind him, and, well, he's gone for good, I think. I don't think he comes back. I'll go ahead and throw this switch. I was hoping to keep only one of them in, but that's alright. This saves a little bit of time. Let's do like that. Uh... And in doing so, they melt this part of the ice, so I can easily just do that this up. Now throw the key down here, throw this switch, and well, my way down here, get the key, hurry, and that's the end of the level. Tricky maneuver there. If you would have pulled the switch, you would have opened the way to the door, but there would have been no way to throw the key down as well. Very, very challenging. This one is another uh, tricky thing. I mean, you see all these uh, ice platforms moving, and you think that, well, I better go ahead and jump on these, but no, first thing to do is just jump in the water. There's a hidden switch here. And there was also enough time to get that octopus away from me, saving some time. We'll make our way up here. Nice platforms will sink as you the longer you stay on them, so keep that in mind. You may think the level's over, but not quite. We've got this walrus guy to deal with, who's, you know, a right pain in the ass. Pick up the key. We gotta carefully make our way down, because if we fall in the water, well, we can't really hold onto the key anymore. So we gotta be very careful. And especially with it being ice, you slip all over the place, so- Oh, God! Ah! Oh, jeez. Hang on. Alright, let's try that again. And trying to get killed by the walrus here. You can't pick him up. And when he has his tusks out, that's- Oh my god! Oh my god! Man, this octopus goes for you. Just... Ugh. He doesn't kill you, but he keeps you from pulling that switch, which kills time and it's kind of annoying. You don't want to get grabbed by him twice at least. Alright, let's get back on track. Right, where'd that guy? Get the key. Alright. And I fell again. Oh my god. Alright, let's try this once more. Two lives later, many, many mess-ups. Let's get this right. Careful here. There's one part. Okay. Alright. Alright. Good. Good. And got it. Sheesh. <sighs> this is only the beginning of the... special, unique challenges the game will throw at us. For example, this one here is definitely tricky. Make your way around here, quickly make it up here so I can throw this penguin from over there, hit that switch, open it up there, the key, and if you noticed, there is no door. The doors will sometimes be invisible, so make sure you're paying attention at the beginning of these levels, otherwise you're gonna not realize that the door was actually, if I can get lined up right, right here. Imagine that. They're gonna be really mean with this later on, though. But that's later on. Right now is our first DK stage. Everything's, uh, sickly purple. It's either very cold or it's... There's a miasma of poison around here. This one's a little bit unique because you have to work with these things. Especially here. Over, and over, and on again. And you're practically safe and you can even do a little bit of bouncing if you're lucky. There you go. Things went really well for me that time. I mean, sometimes you'll just be absolutely screwed on those, uh, on those things. Go, oh, whoa, whoa. And now, for this vignette, they're showing off falling icicles that become platforms. And we'll take five lives from that. 
get back the few that we lost and get a few more in the process. Alright, moving on to the second third of this. To 7-5. This is where they're going to be showing off those falling icicles in style, but what that vignette didn't tell you is that they actually go away. Of course, right? So we can make our way here, wait for these to drop so we can hop on here. We'll do a second and a half here. A wire that we can get on. Another thing about uh, the iceberg stages is that it's very, very easy to get all three of the items, like, without even trying. Alright, so can we make our way here? Oh, shit. Alright. Got it. Eh. Very precise jumps. Got it. Let's grab the purse. We have all three items now, without even trying, and just take our way down to the door here. A neat introduction to these uh, falling icicles. And we'll get a few more one-ups in the process, because hey, why the hell not? We're probably gonna get a whole bunch of them, because there's many opportunities to get the, uh, all three items and get more one-ups. Getting 99 lives is not a hard thing to do in this game. Now in 7-6, here's where it gets really difficult. Immediately throw the switch! You gotta keep these guys in so that way they can melt these ice blocks, but they end up falling halfway through. So then you gotta hang on to the switch, hang on real tight, wait for them to there, and then there, and alright. So now that they've melted enough, gotta try not to... Well, try not to let that happen, I mean. Huh. Alright, there we go. Oop. Alright. If you get two of them, that should be enough to melt enough ice for you to get through. Because this is only the first part of the puzzle. And this part always gave me a hard time as a kid for some reason. Never was able to figure it out. Until I realized that you had to drop them with the switch. When you come up here, we get to the second half. You gotta wait for these little turds to come up here. Ah, one's already up here. Perfect. I don't know if that's gonna reach it now. I think it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Oh, wait! Now the guy's gonna do it. Alright, that's good. It's real good. Alright, so he's gonna melt all the ice for me, because he's a cool dude. And I'm gonna try and not die. I'm gonna put this right there. That was a wonderful jump on me. I'm gonna have this just to renew my time. I can just easily jump on here, actually. See, look, right here, they just have all three- Alright, let's try this again. What I was trying to say is that it is very easy to get all three of the items, especially in this level. And, uh, I gotta wait. I gotta wait for these bastards again. Uh, eh, this might still work in my favor. If I do my... play my cards right. It's hard for me to give insightful commentary and be funny, because I actually have to start concentrating now, because here's where things start really ramping up in difficulty. Alright, so all that's taken care of. Oh, Jesus. That was... fucking money right there. Go ahead and lay that platform down, toss this up, and then... grab that. Oh, shit. Grab that. And then... all three items. <sighs> no sweat. <laughs> if we can get back some of those lives we lost, but it's a slot machine, so I doubt that, because I never do these right. That's the second time that's happened, that's very weird. Alright, next one! A 7-7 seven, a seven with 87 lives! It's one that seems big and intimidating, but really isn't. So you grab this, top into the ocean. That should hopefully take out one of them, but it doesn't. That's gonna be... Oh, that's alright. Well, <laughs> that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Let's try that again. Getting that first throw is really what's crucial, otherwise it's really hard to kind of get yourself back. And I, I didn't know you could pick up the key underwater. I mean, you can't do much of it, and you can probably jump with it, so it's still kind of stuck there. Alright, so grab this, and kind of throw that the wrong fucking way, but still get this to work, I think. Yeah. Do this right. We're not gonna do this right, so we're gonna have to just... Hopefully... Nope, just... We gotta do it right the first time. That's how it's gotta be, because look at how much time we have. Like, we can get this done in less than 200 seconds. Maybe even 250 if we're lucky. You can do this really quickly, and I really want to do this, so we're gonna fucking do this. So let's go do this. That was not what I wanted to do! The key is supposed to. F <laughs> I can't get this right! Oh, God! 
It's a really cool move. I pulled it off like five times when I was practicing. It was easy. It was easy. Now it's... <sighs> now I can't do it? Oh, for f fuck's sake. Ah. Oh, <laughs> uh. There! Got them both in one hit. That's the best way to go. We don't even need the key, because we can't even take it with us. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this switch. Put it right below the door. Because we're going to bring that key up to that door. Avoid that guy, because he's going to waste time. Hit that ladder right there. Here's where the really time-crucial part comes in. Make our way up here. And... Go, 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 go. And hit that ladder. We don't really need it, but we'll just put a ladder right there. That'll give us enough time to make our way over. Up, oh, grab the key, and boom. 269. That's gonna get us at least three lives at the end of this section. Huh. Alright, time for the second DK stage. Oh boy. Here's where things get really kinda crazy. You got a fast moving one here, and he's also making things fall from the sky again. Very dangerous, very RNG heavy. Especially when you have to get close to the top of the sky when he's. Oh! Whew! Good to get to that part quick because it's very dangerous to be at the top of the screen when stuff's falling from the top of the screen. If you got bad RNG, you'll just get hit by something and there's nothing you can do about it. But that's seven lives in the bag. I think that's gonna hit 90. We're gonna hit. I think we're gonna hit 99 by the end of this if things go well. Things normally don't go well, so we probably won't. But definitely by the next episode, we certainly will. This level just a whole nightmare and a half. Major roadblock if you're a seven-year-old playing this on your Game Boy back in the old days. Anyway, moving on. The terrible sounding song has been thankfully absent throughout most of this, but one of them, it actually does exist. I think uh, this is the one. No, no, not this one. Anyway, next one is also tricky. Hit this switch, you have to, trust me, and sort of snake your way down here and be rolling the whole time. Make sure you get out of the way because that icicle is falling your way. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna take one of these, jump over here, make our way over there, avoid that guy, but we're gonna have to come back down because we gotta make these three icicles fall, but we gotta quickly make our way back up because we're gonna go if we, if we don't- Oh, God! Ah! Once more again. Again, once more. That right, yep. It's very easy to roll into that spike pit. Many a death has happened because of that. Alright, so. Where's that going? Right there. Oh, shit! Alright, now we go. Like, immediately when they start to, to wiggle, that's when you go. So go ahead and put this ladder right there, in the only place we can. Can't crawl through that thick snow there. Hit that switch, which opens the way to the key. Brings us back over here, safe and sound. And now we got two orbices to deal with, which seem to cancel each other out when they're charging at one another. And we can even use the key to take them out if we really want to. If we can hit them, that is. That'd be, that'd be a plus. We'll take this key and take the lift back up. That's why we need to hit the switch at the beginning. Because otherwise you'd be... Really SOL, because you can't take the key back up with you from the other way, because it's too high to climb. But hey, we hit it with over 200 seconds, it's good. Alright. Slot machine again! I'm not gonna get this! You know, I didn't even realize that we even got all three items, go figure. Alright, next one, 710. Yeah, this is the one that has the emulator fuck up in it, and uh, I'm gonna try and get to this as fast as possible, and I'm also gonna be trying to talk as much as possible so that way you don't have to go with that annoying sound. That one's a really tricky jump because uh, you had to jump right when it was right when it was about to fall. You couldn't really wait for that. And there's gonna be another moment like that here in a second, <coughs> and it really sucks uh, having to wait for the icicles because then you're wasting more time and wasting less time to get more lives. Because I really want to do this. So if I can do this in the first try, jump. Oh, there we go. Because if you, as you can see, when it's down there, you can't really climb up there because it's right there. And we can just get the items one, two, three, just like that. And we got the key and the door, and there we go. Huh. <sighs> All right, good. I didn't want to damage your ears too badly. All right. Slot machine again. I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get a damn thing. Three times that's happened. 
Maybe I'll get all Mario heads once. Out of sheer coincidence. And if you check that out, the, the door is invisible again, and you don't know where it is. We got a fast flame guy going here, we got a thing right down here, but uh, very, very critical what we gotta do here. We gotta hit the ladder so it goes right down here. We're gonna float down here, and then we're gonna swoop, go, go, go like that. Then, we're gonna hit this to give us some more time to climb up the ladder, and the best place to line it up is right here. Right here on this line, because the door is right there. It's right here. Whoop. It's on that side of the ladder, so it doesn't clip on the other side. Hit up here. Hit the switch. Down. Over here. And that's... That's gone. That's good! Oh! <sighs> Very important that you make it up this ladder, because if you don't make it in time, you have to wait for the flame guy to... Oh, that was actually damn near perfect. I hope I don't get killed from this fall. No. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to make our way over here so we can grab a key before that guy comes back and we're boxed in. Again, right there. That's where that is. And we can use a ladder or we can do a fun route and have a spring right here. That leads to a platform right there. So, boing, boing, boom. There we go. And that's all the levels of the iceberg taken care of. Ugh. God, what a nightmare. But we're left with the final DK stage of the iceberg. Again, not as hard as you may think. Because he's throwing barrels, yeah, but uh, very easy to collect them. And see, he's got another barrel here, right here for me. I'm gonna let that one fall. I mean, the icicles are a bit of a problem, and so is the ice, but you can just. Oh, fuck, I missed. I totally missed like a jackass. Good thing I grabbed this barrel before he could destroy that one. There we go. I bet I can just hit him right there. Alright! That does it for the iceberg! Holy fuck! Like I said, this is where the game really starts to ramp up in difficulty, or at least as difficult as an E-rated Game Boy game from 1994 can be. So! That does it for the iceberg, and we're heading for the Rocky Valley, which is the... It is the longest level in the game. It's going to be a very, very long episode because there are four sections of four levels instead of the usual two or three. So that's going to be interesting to do, but hey, we're going to hit 99... We're going to hit 99 lives, so we'll be fucking ready for it at least. So thanks for watching this, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 94. Thanks so much for watching.